hello 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 everybody welcome back welcome back to another stream it has been a little while i took a um was it 10 day 10 day break or something like that uh yeah a little break uh because i've um you know, well i needed it that's why that's the only reason that matters <laughs> i felt like i needed it but uh yeah we are back now and um i've been looking into this game for a little while forever skies uh like a lot of people were playing it uh, right before um, the break and um, also now still a lot of people are, are playing it and interested in the game and it seems to be like a uh, subnautica type game but instead of you know the underwater world it is basically an an airship that flies around um, but it's kind of like kind of similar to a subnautica in a lot of ways with like the cyclops for example that you can basically make into a, um, a submarine base that just floats around the water. But this time it's actually going to be in an airship floating around the sky. So I am looking forward to it. I hope it is as fun as I, uh, as I think it will be. <laughs> and I'm excited to be back. Good to see you all here. I saw we have Bobby in the chat earlier and Flippers, Torben. And there you go, Craft Joy. 11 months of being a member on YouTube. I appreciate it. Thanks for all the support. And, um, well, might as well say as well for the people who have not said it, uh, have not seen it yet. Earlier today, I did tweet about it and I put it in a community post and the Discord as well. But my, one of my videos that I made uh, from uh, Dinkum, like the 22 things I wish I knew. Uh, explaining some of the things for uh, people who are just getting started in that game reached 100,000 views uh, on that video so that is freaking amazing that's my first video that um, that reaches that number so that's pretty cool <laughs> pretty freaking cool but yes let's get back uh, let's well let's get back Let's get into the game for the first time because I've never played it. I just bought it today. Uh, I have not seen a lot of gameplay on it. Um, I have seen like little bits and pieces of like five minute gameplay of like a raptor and such. Uh, a raptor Lalura and all, no, no, you know, a bunch of other people just seen a little, little bit off. 
but I didn't want to watch too much as I would like to experience it myself. So uh, I'm basically going in blind. So let's go. Uh, I don't know if the audio is good. I did adjust it earlier a little bit, but the music does seem to be a little loud sometimes. So, um, you know, let me know. Uh, it's been a while since I streamed, of course, and my audio settings are always all over the place. Like every time there's like a driver update for the audio or whatever, it messes literally everything up. So <laughs> I hope the audio is fine. Let me know if it isn't. Let's go. Let's do normal. It's probably hard enough already. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. 100,000 views. Never would have expected that. Crash landing, apparently. Well, it does feel very similar to Subnautica 2, uh, or below Emergency zero, I should say. Procedure completed. Oh yeah, definitely does sound, si sound similar. Broken signal, lost expedition. Um, the Sag Sagittarius, the Sagittarius 2 went silent for months. And then there's one signal and silence again. None of us know what awaits you there, but uh, if there is a chance that you have found a vir that they have found the virus, that uh, it may be, then maybe we can survive. Find the virus sample at all costs. The fate of on all. Well, I can't. I can't read. Jeez. The fate of us all. Depends on you, the Ark. Okay, so I, I, as I said, I know nothing about this game. I'm not very familiar with what the game actually is about. I didn't even read anything on the Steam page. <laughs> I, uh, I, I literally am going in blind. But it looks like there's a virus going on. Like a virus and I'm being sent to a distant planet to find a cure. And I'll find samples of the virus. Not sure. Um, okay, we are in the pod that dropped down. What is that? Mad kit. Take first aid kit. Uh, yes. Alright, cool. Nothing else? No? Alright. Open it up. So it's locked. I gotta hold it. It's kind of weird that you have the option for both. Right, hold it. Okay. Whoa. We arrived at the source of the signal. Okay. It's not super stable at the moment. Maybe that will improve just loading in the, the terrain and such. We'll see, I guess. We'll see how it goes. Ooh. What the heck is going on here? That looks weird. Alright. Make our way there. Hey, the Lunas! Parameters low. Check the database for details. Hmm. Can you guys hear the voices? It's a bit low. I think I'm gonna turn down the graphics a little. It doesn't seem super stable at the moment. Um, let's see. It's in high. No upscaling. All right, let's just turn it down to medium, then I suppose. FPS is not so not really the problem. Actually, it's more that it's uh, not stable FPS. Maybe turning it down to 60 would actually be better instead of going down to medium. I think that might definitely be better. And 
Alright, that's already... Voice is already as high as it can be. Lunas, thank you very much for 10 months of support as well. I appreciate it. What happened to your staycation? But you were taking some time off. I mean, I haven't live streamed for 10 days. It's quite a long time. Long enough, I think, for now anyway. Um, let's see. Her auto save is on. S auto save interval 60 minutes. Let's uh, turn that down to 30 at least. 60 is a bit much. Well, actually, maybe 15 would be better. As long as it's not laggy autosaves that Velheim used to have. Mouse lag strength. What? What does that mean? <laughs> Is that sensitivity? Mouse lag strength? What does that even mean? I know there's no difference whatsoever. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? That was lag strength. No idea. Um, let's see. Sensitivity is here. It is a bit high. I'm gonna turn it down to 40, I think. Maybe 35. It is a bit much for me. Um, all right. I think that will do it. I think that will be enough for me. Yep, that's better. That's a bit better. Right. Glad I'm back. Did I enjoy my time off? Yeah, it was, was alright. Just didn't really do anything. Uh, nothing special. You know, just, just what, I, what I always do. But, uh... Without, without the stress of having to think what I'm gonna play tomorrow, you know what I mean? Because I was kind of struggling with that for a while, not knowing what I wanted to play, what kind of games, and yeah, I still have a couple of things that I have to finish, like um, Velheim. I still have to finish, maybe like one or two episodes, and then it's and then that one is um, done. Because we were basically getting ready for the queen fight, which I think we're, I think we are ready for that. Requires a solid state of battery. Okay. Okay. What do we got here? Got some medicine parts. Right. Oh. Medicine parts. A lot of medicine parts. Old canned water. Can we crouch? Yes. We have a flashlight. Whoa, that is very nice and bright. I appreciate that. That is way better. Wow. <laughs> That's a cool suit, too. It's a real cool suit. Do you remember the forest? The forest, huh? Alright, let's read this. It's all gone to hell. Oh, that sounds very comforting. Sounds great. Everything's been screwed up since we found the damned virus. We're all getting sick. Uh, equipment is breaking down. And there, and then there's this Noah situation. What, the Ark of Noah? The power blew out again and the door is locked. I'll check if the beacon tower has a... Compatible Hydration battery. level is decreasing. Hydration level is decreasing. Oh boy. Gotta stay hydrated. Alright, use computer. No, <laughs> no power. Yet it has enough power to tell me that it doesn't have power. Ah, that's quite interesting, isn't it? It doesn't have enough power, yet it has enough. Very interesting. Okay. Oh. What the hell is going on there? Oh, 
That was a weird camera movement right there. Not sure if I care for that. Uh, Alright, we'll go up. Alright. Oh. A sun melon. I don't care much for sun melons. I prefer a watermelon. What's up, dude? Oh yeah, there is a there's a dude in there. A dead one. A very dead one. Oh wow. Bro. This is not just any dude, this is Voldemort. This is Voldemort from Harry Potter. <laughs> he doesn't have a nose. That's how I know. Um alright. Oh, supposed to be a battery here. All right, take the solid state battery. Can we just drop down? Okay, cool. And put it in there. Message received. There we go. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the. The constantly having to think of you know what what game am I gonna play tomorrow etc. If if there's not a lot of games new that are coming out or or there's or you do have a lot of games to play but you don't think people will enjoy them as much, it um, can get a bit stressful for me anyway. I'm sure a lot of people and as you said you yourself have that as well. Right, undelivered message. We are down under the dust. We found the lab where they first analyzed the virus 400 years ago. That's when it all started going to hell. No one went crazy and the bastards stole the sample, our airship, and broke the radio. He just left us here to die. He's dangerous as all hell. Location of the sample is at the overgrown greenhouse. Scientists live there who studied flora from under the dust. If you want to get, uh, if you want to get there, try visiting the radio towers and wind farms. Get the necessary devices. Be careful! This world no longer wants us. It is not a place for humans anymore. Well, that's too bad because I am human. At least I think so. Knowledge. Huh? Health parameters. Immunity circle determines how hard you suffer from viruses. A value depends on other health parameters, right? So what is immunity circles? That is this one, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, it, it continues over there. I can barely see that. All right. Uh, fatigue bar. That's probably the stamina bar, the energy one there. Maximum level limit stamina allowing to sprint. Right. Regenerates when sleeping. Health bar decreases from receiving damage, wounds, bad food. Okay, I see. Uh, regenerates when immunity is above 50%. Okay, good. How? I don't know, I guess that makes sense, sort of. Hunger and thirst bar decreases over time from diseases and certain food and drinks. Okay. Right, not much to go on, but it all makes sense. Oh, this is not paused. Oh god, I I don't like games when when you're reading a journal, it like continues the game. I don't like that. Uh, okay, let's let's find food. Wait, actually, we have food. Satisfy your hunger. Oh, actually, an objective. Uh, there you go. We got food, water, and minus health. Picked from bushes, they spoil quickly. 
Oh, food actually spoils? Oh, I don't like that. I mean, actually, Subnautica also had spoiling of food. Uh, unless you cooked it. If you cooked it, I think it stayed fine forever. Or if it was salted. But if it was a raw, it definitely spoiled, I believe. Interesting. So, 11 minutes still. No, wait. Ow that's hours. Wait, what? Okay, it says 10 hours, 40 minutes. But the minutes goes down real quickly. So, I guess it's supposed to be 10 minutes and then... Like minutes and then seconds. What, what? That is so confusing. Why does it say that? Why does it say hours, minutes, but it means minutes, seconds? What the hell? That is so freaking confusing. All right, we'll eat it. Uh, right click. That's weird. Why not left click? Or right click. Virus infection detected. Photophobia. Photophobia. Okay. Virus. That's great. Uh, we'll eat another one. Well, we already have the virus, so we might as well add to it, right? Um, some clean water. There you go. And then find a way to depart location. Check the phobia database. Um, all right. Viruses, phobia. Looking directly into the sun causes visual disturbance and injuries. Okay, so that is the effect of photophobia. So if I look into the sun, there's a visual disturbance and injury. Uh, therapeutic nutrients, what? Less thin. No idea what that's supposed to mean. Medicine, cure the virus to fill the medicine list. Cure the virus? Oh, okay, so if I cure this, it will tell me how I previously cured it, I guess. That makes sense. Gotta figure it out. Oxygen tank? Oh, God. Okay. Um, so, find a cure, right. Well, we have machine... Wait, these are machine parts? I thought they were medicine parts. Did I did I read that incorrectly this entire time? I have said medicine parts while it now says machine. Okay, interesting. Where the hell do we go? How are we supposed to find a cure? Uh, Alright, look into the sun. Oh, uh, that's... Oh, boy. That is disturbing. when you look at the sun. It hurts you when you look at the sun. Yeah, I noticed. Thank you. Okay, so is this powered now? Yep, yeah, sure is. There you go. Cool. Alright. It does say machine parts. Okay, so I have just said it wrong this entire time. I already thought it didn't make a lot of sense that it said medicine. Because <laughs> it didn't. It didn't say that. Makes a whole lot more sense now. All right, Ooh, what what is all this? Looks kind of cool. All right, what's that? Old food. Nothing. And water. What's this? Noah's madness. Hydration level is decreasing. Okay, lady. Oh man. This surely is Subnautica all over again. And your PDF telling you that your levels are decreasing, increasing, etc. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, don't look into the sun. Right, don't look into the sun. Empty bottle. What, what is this? That, yeah, dirty water. That does not look good. Okay. What's that? Photophobia virus research. Ooh. Can be cured with lecithin. Whatever the hell that is. It's best found in dust moths and other things living in a dust layer. Interesting. Uh, I've prepared a 
a lure to attract these objects. Use it with the insect catcher on the ship. Lower it into the dust and wait for the catch. The food from the world the food from this world eaten raw may be harmful. I'll leave a membrane or a water condenser just in the case some water will be needed to cook the food. Okay. Alright, so we need to find uh was it? <laughs> this. Levishin, whatever the hell that is. Take insect lure, okay. Take condenser membrane, okay. Nothing in there. I hate when you can open stuff and there's nothing in there. That's so annoying. Okay. More machine parts. Right, good. We'll be needing that, I guess. I'd imagine. Lots of them. Water? Ladder. Don't look into the sun. Don't do that. Hmm. There's a lot of these. Oh wait, they, those are supposed to be satellite dishes? Oh, yes they are. Yeah, they're supposed to be satellite dishes. That's why there's so many of them. I was about to say there's there's way too many of these satellite of these uh, water things out here. It doesn't make sense, but it actually does. It actually does make sense. Risk of starvation. Yes, I guess this is like a well, it was a tower of some sorts. Giant tower. Transformer. What's all this? An airship to do list. Place the rudder, place the fabricator, craft the deck extractor, extract the wall blocking the workshop, get a research station. Expand the airship, not yet. Needs resources from further locations. A fabricator. Cool. More machine parts. All right. I think we are gonna die a horrible death before I have a chance to even fly that thing. Um. Let me get in there. No idea how. Engines. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how does one do anything here? Oh, this is the condenser. Okay, add the membrane. So, that's gonna start creating water or something for this? That's my understanding. I'm not, not quite sure what it is. Uh, okay, this is the lure thing. So, we can add that. Before. There you go. Don't think we need to use that yet. I think we need to use that later. Uh, oh wait, lower the lure. Okay, so that is what I have to do. Wait for the water to condense and drink it. Okay, I <laughs> I completely forgot to follow those objectives. Um, place the fabricate. Okay, got to do that too. So let's place that. Can I rotate it? Only on a 90 degree end. Um, let's place it like that. Yeah, I like that. A basic fabricator. There you go. So, was the audio good for everybody? Because it seems... Seems a bit loud, maybe, in my uh, YouTube studio. You guys actually hear my voice properly. Compared to all the machines and stuff. Um, deck. 
reactor. Okay, we needed that. We needed that for our ship. Yeah, we need to craft that. We have the materials for it. There you go. Printing completed. <laughs> Printing completed. Okay. Vulnerability to viruses rises. Oh. Cannot place inside. Uh, okay, so we gotta we gotta place it on the ship. Wow, there's not a lot of space to do that. Um, okay. <laughs> there really is not a lot of place to do this. Place it on. Oh wait, this is also part of the airship. Okay, cool. I didn't realize. I didn't realize that this little bit here was part of the airship. Okay. Then there's enough space to do it. Cool. Seems good to you, Farisha. Alright, awesome. Thank you. Welcome back, Lurking. Or actually, you guys should be saying welcome back to me instead of I to you. Because I'm the one who left. <laughs> you guys never left. You were just waiting for me to come back. Thank you, Solar. Thank you very much. And also for the 19 months of being a member. That is freaking insane. Dom, welcome. Welcome. Good to see you. <laughs> Trisha, thank you too. Alrighty. Um, extract the obstacle blocking the entrance to the workshop. Alright, let's first do the other objectives. Let's lower this um, holding. There we go. Oh. That's a weird sound. Alright. And now raise it. Or do we wait? Check back in a while to see what was what, what was caught. Okay. Just gotta wait. I'm guessing okay, so this is like a loading waiting Risk screen. Then it will tell me when it oh has caught something, like right now. There you go. We are very close to death, apparently. Let's eat this. Drink that. Eat that. There you go. Dust lettuce. Let us take that. Thank you. And let's lower the lure again. Do we just keep using that indefinitely? I would guess so. Eat what was caught... Uh, wait. Eat what's caught to cure photophobia. Okay. Uh, wait, didn't we have to get something else? Oh no, medicine is... What? I'm confused now. I thought it said something else earlier. I am very confused. Alright, let's erase this one. Got another one. Sweet. Consume it. The virus Sweet. Was neutralized. Secured. Alright, let's get more. Cooked food is better. That makes sense. Yes. We need an electric cooker for that. Right. Electric cooker. Um, has this made... Requires condenser membrane. Wait, I thought we had that. Wait, did we... I thought I put the condenser membrane in there earlier. Did I take it accidentally again? I am confused. Um, okay. Bottle dirty water. Wait, this, this makes dirty water? I thought it would make fresh water. Wait, do we need a membrane every single time? Is that what it's saying? So th those condenser membranes are like a one-time use thing. Oh, a dust moth. Hello. I'll take you, I guess. The lure has worn out. Wait, photo... Did we... Get, did we get it again? It was updated. 
Oh, there's multiple medicines for it. I see. Okay, okay. That's cool. Alright, so the lure is worn out, so now we can't use it anymore. That's great. Uh, so now we need to extract obstacle blocking the entrance to the workshop. Didn't we make... Wait, we make this thing. Deck extractor. What does that do? The deck extractor converts environmental elements such as walls and flying debris into resources. Ooh. Okay, interesting. Can I not turn that way? Okay. Um, that sucks. Oh, I see. That is pretty cool. Very interesting. Very interesting. Right, so maybe I'm gonna have to, um... Pick this up. There you go. And then place it slightly differently. Place it like this instead. So we can turn it around a little more. I think that'll be much better. There we go. So we can do that. Not sure if I like the sounds of it, maybe. It's pretty cool. I like the idea. Right, so that is what we had to clear. Let's get all of this stuff. Might as well. Anything else? I mean, there's an infinite amount of stuff flying through the air. Keep spawning in, so that shouldn't be a problem. So does this have, like, ammo? I don't think so. I don't think it has ammo. Uh, Shuratogi? Shuratogi? Hello there, welcome. You're a French viewer? Good to see you. Nice work on your videos. Thank you. I appreciate it. Welcome. Um, so I got rid of that. Oh, gallery levels. Okay, right. So now we can go in here. Old isotonic drink. That's a pretty cool poster. Weird drawing. Uh, nothing else really over here. That's a tower again. Right. It's nothing too important back there. What about over here? This is what we had to open up. Our machine parts. I like it. Ooh, research station. That's what we needed. There's another battery here, which we're probably gonna need. Hey, thank you very much on, uh, for following on Twitch as well. Uh, I mean, I'm not streaming there anymore, but ho hopefully one day they will allow me to live stream there again. <laughs> if one day they allow me to live stream there again, multi-stream, then, uh, then I will. Risk of dehydration. Take that battery. There you go. And that's it, I think. Yep, seems like that's it. Take the station. That's a big station just to be carrying around in your pocket. But it works. I'm not gonna question it. Now where do we place this thing? It is freaking huge. Um... 
probably would have been best to place it right there. But I cannot. There, we'll place it here. Yeah, that is huge. We definitely need a bigger ship. This ship is not big enough for the both of us. Uh, oh, batteries. Okay, there you go. Solid state battery. Use the research. Uh, wait, the message went away. Insert a battery into the station. Right, let's do that. Research the scanner. Research the scanner. Ah, okay. Right, that one. And we need synthetics and metals to do that. Immunity is decreasing. We got Vulnerability that. Vulnerability to viruses rises. Uh oh. Let's drink something. There you go. Research finalized. Research finalized. Nice. So now we can craft the scanner. Repair patch, empty bottles, tool charger, okay. Useful, useful, but not for right now it seems. Basic fabricator, alright, let's make the scanner. Seems like we're gonna need it. Printing completed. Thank you. Oh. Analysis completed. Detected new objects requiring scanning. I find the voices. Well, especially the, the voice from like the, the PDF or whatever. I find that voice to be very, very low compared to everything else. Like a little ping is quite loud in comparison. Um, Alright, so what do we do now? Check the studies menu. Studies. Okay. Well, what are we checking? Exactly. Scanner. Communication facility ruins. Okay. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here. Complete it. Right. Repair patch. Alright. I, I checked it. Okay. <laughs> Scan a synthetic cluster floating in the air. That thing? Uh, cannot use it, apparently. Because we already scanned it. Ah, that is the cluster, okay. So, what did that do for us? <laughs> I'm not quite sure why we had to do that. Synthetic waste expelled from under the dust. I can't read it. It's too fast. Research engine and fuel. Okay. So now we go back here and we research that. Uh, water condenser membrane. Engine and fuel. There you go. Researching. Hey there, MSL, Damon. Welcome back. Research finalized. Cool. Finalized. Sweet. And what now? Craft an engine. Immunity is decreasing. Vulnerability to viruses virus. rises. So this says water condenser and membrane. Oh wait, that is researching, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Because then we can make the membranes to make more dirty water. Hopefully we'll find a way to cook stuff so we can make it clean water. Safe and safe. That'd be great. Um, okay, craft an engine. Can I pause the game? Yeah, there you go. That's better. Kind of weird, or, well, not a weird, but a little bit annoying that... When you go into the tap menu, that it doesn't pause the game. Because <laughs> having to deal with the constant health, water, foods, draining, etc. It's a little bit annoying when, you know, trying to read stuff in the, in the, in the PDF or whatever. 
I'm just gonna call it a PDF because that's what it's called in Spinautica. I'm not sure what's what's called here, but that's what I'm gonna call it. Yeah, welcome everybody. I'm myself, Damon Ryan. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, great to see you back. Was watching one of your older Valheim streams. Is this your first playthrough of Subnautica? This is not Subnautica. Subnautica is a different game. I've played, um, yeah, Forever, <laughs> Forever Skies, exactly, yes. You, should, you don't type that a little bit later. Yeah, this is Forever Skies. Um, Subnautica I played a bunch. I played the first one a few times. I played Below Zero a few times. Also uh, on the channel, so pretty cool, pretty cool. But yeah, this is my first time playing Forever Skies. I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'll probably be making lots of mistakes. Got myself some tea quickly. Hold on a second. There you go. Lots of mistakes incoming. I can tell you that much. And will likely die a bunch of times too. All right, let's see. Craft an engine. Um, water purifiers, insect lure, insect catcher, electric cooker. Oh, sweet, we can make that. Uh, do I want to do that right now? Let's not, just in case I'm messing up stuff. Uh, engine, there you go. Doesn't always make a pyramid. How long does it take? At the other times it was a lot faster. Oh wait, okay, the progress. All right, it's almost done. So now it's make. Oh, that is weird. Person makes like a pyramid and now it's making a box all of a sudden. That looks really strange. Printing completed. Printing completed. Thank you. Oh. Jesus, that is much bigger. And um, right. Oh Jesus. I'm supposed to place this like there or Okay, we can place it on the outside like that. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Um, right. Well, let's place this there, I guess. Maybe. Uh, can we place it like this? Yes, we can. Risk of dehydration. Let's Maximum place it like that. Speed increased. There you go. Should we get another one? Um, yeah, you know what, Maximum let's hold off on reduced. a second, but let's place this one straight down the middle Maximum instead. Flight speed increased. There you go. 15 kilometers an hour is our max speed. That's not a lot. Definitely not a lot. Graph synthetic fuel. Alright. That's a lot faster. Printing completed. Nice. Oh wait, we are dying out here. Um, okay, water, isotonic drink, all right, let's take that, glass, um, all right, refuel the engine, can I do that from here? Yes, I can. Uh, now, do I do that? Oh, here it is. There we go. Alright, cool. I thought it would be like somewhere back here instead of down the middle. Risk of dehydration. So we have 50. Depart the location. But what if I don't want to do that? What if I want to do something else, huh? What about that? I feel like I need that cooker because I'm, I'm all out of food. At least food that, you know, 
Oh, no, never mind. I don't have enough. All right, well, let's uh, let's get going, I guess. Control the ship. Oh, boy. Um, right. Uh, WASD for speed and heading. Altitude. Uh, that goes down. Shift goes up. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Here we go. We're going. I don't know where we're going, but we're going. Fly to the source of the single flashing light. Which one? I see two. Are we? Risk of starvation. Did I close this? I feel like we're taking damage or something. Might just be the risk of starvation, I guess. <laughs> not sure if I had to close that or not. Oh, we can lock speed. Oh, that is nice. So we can do this, lock speed. Can I now walk away while we'll keep going? Oh, it does. That is nice. All right. Rotten food, health. Yeah, we are uh, we are about to die. That's not great. Not great at all. Debris fast flight altitude zone. Risk of airship damage. What? What does it say? Floating debris is threatening the. I can't read the rest of it. I guess uh, it's like threatening the ship, like might get hit or something. Okay, what do we do now? Where where do we put this thing? Do we just literally put it anywhere we want or what do we do? Go up? 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 No? We cannot go up. Okay, this is the max altitude. We can go down. There you go. Alright, well. And let's uh, drop her down right here, I guess. Let's see if that works. Alright, cool. Wow! That was awesome! I did it! Surprised to see you play an underwater game. This is not underwater, though. This is in the skies. Uncharted area. This is not underwater. The preliminary analysis started. But yeah, Subnautica was fun with my, uh, well... Analysis completed. It's not necessarily Detecting a fear of being underwater, required. right? It's more, of a, it's more of a fear of being in a place where a large, scary creature can come towards you from literally any side. Up, down, left, right, back, forth, you know? Anywhere you go, it can get you. That's more the, uh, the fear that I have. Which is not great. Not great at all. Virus infection detected. Alright, let's just eat a bunch of stuff, because otherwise we're gonna die anyway. Uh, dirty water, there you go, might as well. Health is going down like crazy. But that's all right. That thing. The virus was neutralized. Virus neutralized. There you go. That's what I like to hear. It seems like this is quite a difficult game to start in. Uh, start in what? English is hard, man. After not streaming for ten days, <laughs> it was already hard for me, but now it's even worse. Let's open up these ones. Repair patch. Data card. Electric elements. Alright. Oh, fuel. Sweet. That'll be useful. In parts. 
Interesting. More fuel, okay. Oh! That is cool. <laughs> What's that play? I like that. Definitely putting that on the ship. Yeah, right there. Sweet. I like that. That's cool. Alright, let's uh, climb the ladder. There you go. Clovis, welcome back. Good to see you. Yeah, I'm doing good. Hope you are as well. Elements, elements. Well, what is that? Transformer. Solid state battery, okay. I definitely have to get used to um, to this game. Like, I, I don't know how I feel about the, um, the FOV. Maybe I should try to change that. Uh, it says it is 90, which usually is fine for me. I'm gonna put it on 100. See if it feels a little bit better to me. I think it might be a bit better for me. Anything here? Yes, it gotta go up. Okay. Plastic scrap. Oh, more batteries. There you go. What am I doing here? Location signal. Check the newly discovered objects in the studies menu. Craft a water purifier. Place it on the airship wall. That would be good. That would also like a cooker. So that we can actually get some better food. Woo, that was scary. <laughs> Almost fell into the void. I don't know if you can consider this a void, I guess so. I guess we're just very, very high up. Scary, nonetheless. Okay, there is... Hold on. For anybody wondering, there is hold on. Figure that out the hard way. All right. Um. Can we, can we scan? There you go. Erect basic turbine. Cool. We scan a bunch of stuff. what we gotta do for the quest. Uh, for the, well, mission log, I guess. Craft a water purifier. Oh, we need synthetics for that. We need 20, we have 4. Okay. Well, let's get some. Um, there you go. Out of range. Oh, come on. Oh man, come on. Why are they so far away this time? No! 
Come on. There you go. <laughs> Before in the starting area, they were so close. All right, I think we got enough now. There you go. And water purifier. Build that. Can we add more space to the outside here? Because... Or like anywhere, just to the back of the ship or something? That'll be great. Research airship builder. Oh, there you go. That's probably what we need. Completed. Let's research that. Um, required parts. One of them completed, but we need more... Synthetics for the other part? Interesting. I am confused. Okay, we place this to the um, side of the ship. There you go. Yeah. Add dirty water. Done. Can we add more? Oh, we don't have more. Okay, I thought we did. Um. Right. I think we can get more, though. Because there were a couple of those satellite dishes up here. We can probably fill up the bottles that we got with some more old, um, dirty water. There you go. Yes. Bottle it up. One bottle. There you go. And there's a bunch more up here, I think. Or at least one. No. Yep. One bottle. Two bottles. Three. Sweet. Alright, and... Let's slowly go down. I don't want to fall to my death. There you go. Use my scanner for something new. Oh, we've done that one already. Decreases the flight altitude of the airship. Oh, nice. That is useful. What's that? Oh, okay. should be able to do... No, wait. No, wait. Dirty water. Yes. Requires a bottle. Wait. And I have a bottle? Wait. Oh, I use all my bottles for the dirty water. Okay, right. Um. Okay. Can we make another <laughs> bottle? No? Is that not possible? Um, empty bottle. We need synthetics for that. Okay. Alright. Well, let's work on that. Fatigue. Rest is recommended. Oh boy. We gotta rest. But I just rested for like 10 days. Isn't that enough? Jeez, man, this game is, uh, it's kind of, I don't know, <laughs> I feel rushed, I don't like it, I want to find things out on my own, um, right, um, bottle, yes, okay, we need a bottle research, there you go, let's get that done, Uh, you get it, not, um, 
You get my fear of not seeing yourself in the water. I have a little bit of that yourself. In Florida, we have alligators and sharks that you will never see till it's too late. Yeah, that that's why I'm basically just afraid of of the being in, like in the middle of the ocean or murky water or stuff like that because you just don't see what's underneath it like anything could be down there you know anything could be there one wrong step or you know wading out in the water with your ankles deep in there and uh, you never know what happens <laughs> sadly your english is still better than many of us with it as our first language well my Dutch isn't the best either, <laughs> even though I am Dutch, so, you know. There's probably people who have much better Dutch as a second language than, uh, than I have it as my first. It's just the way it is. Um, doing well, finally had a few days off as well, so happy about that. Picking blackberries now. Oh, nice. Can you send some blackberries to my character here? He's uh, starving. Almost. Uh, that would be great. Right. Let's complete this research. There you go. So how do we see progress in this? Research finalized. I guess the colors. Alright, so that is done. Take clean water. Um, first, gotta craft that bottle. I forgot. Which means we need more synthetics. Okay. Right. Again. Um, out of range. Out of range. Oh, that one is good now. Cool. Everything is down. All my energy, my health, everything is going down. It's not great. It's a difficult game to start off. Like completed. not knowing anything. Right. Take that. Add more dirty water. There you go. So now we got some clean water. Very nice. I'll drink that immediately. There's at least one of my stats back into the blue. <laughs> That's good. And what do we need for the... Um, um, the cooker thing. For the lure we need this. We can make that. We can make the lure. Because that could also give those insects... So, you know, you can eat that. Electric cooker, need a bit more synthetics for that. Let's do that. I hope there's also different ways of gathering stuff, and not just using this the entire game. I like the idea, but having to do this, like, the entire time, collecting resources, not sure how I feel about that. Can I close that? Bad weather. Um, okay, what now? We are gonna make the cooker thing. Here you go. Cool. RPG TM, welcome. Good to see it. I like the game so far, though. It's a bit, it's a bit odd, but um, I like it so far. Printing completed. There's a lot to learn. Note sticker. You could just put stickers on stuff, like signs, I guess. Plastic scraps, box transformer. Oh, right, for increasing the altitude limit. Yeah, that's useful. 
Not right now, but we'll probably need that later. Take the electric. And place that there. And then what can we cook? And I don't think we have anything on us right now that we can cook actually. So we'll have to put the lure in here. And we probably cannot use it here as we're like standing on metal. Can we use it? Let's see. Nope. Bob obstructed. Okay. So we do actually have to go out and collect stuff, I guess. Alright, let's do that then. Uh, let's uh, close this temporarily and control the ship and increase altitude. Let's go out a little bit. And then we also need to find the location with the double flashing light. I see two lights with one. So I guess the double flashing location is just further away. We do really have to find it. Oh wait, there it is. See now it's the blue lights. Slow down. Uh, our altitude stays the same. If we uh, stop. Yes, it seems that way. Alright, that's good. I don't want to crash and burn. While I'm like fishing. Compliments. There you go. Do a little bit of fishing. Hopefully we'll catch some of those insects so that we can cook them. Because we need food. We are all the way down and our health our, our health is getting low, our stamina is but almost an all-time low. Starvation. Critical condition. Thank you. <laughs> I am aware. Well at least we have water, right? That's something. Oh, there we go. We got something. We got something. I thought I had a bunch of health left. Oops. So, when are we? Oh wait, we just respawn at the exact same spot. Just respawn back at our shit. Didn't... Did we lose anything? Not that I can tell. I'm not even sure if you lose anything on death. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Alright, lower it is again. That, that was... That was on purpose. That was a tactical... Suicide. Yes. Tactical suicide. Let's put that in there. Uh, water... Can we use dirty water for that? I don't want to use clean water. I guess we might have to boil. Dust lettuce. We're cooking. We're doing stuff. Hopefully this time we will be surviving. Now that we got our cooker, we got our water filter thing. Hopefully we can survive for a while. Oh, 
waiting for these things. There we go. Oh, the lure is worn out again. Of course. Alright, that one is done. Consume boiled dust mob. I think I might. So I guess 40 food. Oh wow. That increases the food value a lot. From 15 to 40 and no minus health or, or water. That's good. That's real good. Can keep it for a day, 23 hours, 36 minutes. It's it's really confusing to me that it says minutes, but it actually is like seconds. That's so confusing to me. Uh, anyway, I mean, I guess I guess a lot of games do that, because like in-game days, right? I guess that makes sense, sort of. Uh, let's keep that right now. There you go. Let's do another one. Okay, so it only used one of the waters. Do we get the bottle back? Uh, we got zero out of five. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we get the bottle back from this. I hope so. That seems like a scam if you don't. Boil that one. Uh, right, what does, what does the game want me to do, actually? Grab the airship builder, right. Let's do that. Airship builder. I've been busy trying to survive and failing because I died. I guess because I'm keeping myself busy with other stuff. From following instructions better. Builder, got it. That looks pretty cool. I like it. Stormy Cat and Allura, good to see you both. Uh, right, what do we do now? Build a new room. Oh, yes, please. A uh, new room. 30 kilograms, alright. This is gonna slow us down, probably, too. Temporary room. Scaffolding frame. It gets damaged quickly. Uh, a base to build something with. Oh wait, a, a, a base to build something else. Okay. So first we gotta build the rooms and then add to it. Blocked by equipment. Oh, it's blocked by the engine. Oh, but this is cool. I can do this. I see. Um, will it automatically create those bits on the outside? I hope so. Oh, it deleted this thing. Okay. So it doesn't automatically make another one of those, unfortunately. Can we do something else with it? Um, door, plastic wall. Okay. Ooh. That looks cool. Uh, we'll do a door over there. And is that done automatically make? No, it does not. Okay. You gotta be real careful there. Glass floor. Uh, transparent flooring, yet still more sturdy than temporary scaffolding. Okay. 
catwalk. Can extend two squares beyond the main body of the airship. Ah, there we go. So that's what we need. Uh, no. Maybe. I, I'm trying to place it outside. Um, I really am trying. Booty food, thank you very much for the 18 months, by the way. I appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome back. Why can I not place it outside? It's a lot easier to do it here, it seems. A whole lot easier. Can I just go around? Um, oh boy. Right, hold on. Not enough resources. Okay. It is possible to go around though. That's what we know now. Ooh. That's good. Uh, let's place this thing back there. There we go. Let's place this thing somewhere else. Because that's been bothering me. We can place this. Wait, cannot be placed outside? Or inside? Okay. Oh, right, that's the water collector thing. Okay, let's put that on right there. Cool. And then we can place something else down here, I guess. Not right now. Um, okay, all we have to do now is find the flashy lights, apparently. This is what the game wants us to do. First, get some more resources. If we can get any. It's not really the best spot for collecting resources, it seems. Or at least the place where I have built this thing now is not the best. Would have been better at this side. I think. Oh well. It is what it is. It is what it is. Let's sell some tea. I'm just gonna pause the game like this whenever I drink some tea because, you know, it's kind of time limited. Well, not time limited, but, you know. Health and food and everything goes down, of course, so. It seems to be pretty bad. Talking about cereal? I like some cereal. I don't think I have any at home right now. Well, no, never mind. We do, but I don't like that specific one. <laughs> uh, I want to pick this up, place this somewhere else. Let's place this one right there instead. That's a lot better. Now I can actually see around. That's way, way better. Alright, so the game wants us to go to that point right there. Let's do that. Close the doors. Come on, close the door. And let's go. So we need to go in that direction. Which is weird because the game told us earlier that we could go 15 only and now we were able to get 16 and even 17 earlier wait no fuel oh boy it's also a mosquito or whatever in um, fuel yes we can add fuel we have that a little bit, not much. Can we make more? I believe. 
believe that was an option. Yes. There we go. Printing completed. Cool, I need even more. Awesome. Alright, now we can continue. Alright, the fuel is right there. That bar right there. Okay, cool. Good to know. Let's first stop over here then, I guess. Can we reach that altitude? We go high enough? I think so. Yes. Sweet. And boom. Where can I see the damage to the ship? Not sure if we can see that anymore. Gotta be careful now, I guess. Righty then. What do we do here? Uh, I guess we just go around and uh, collect stuff, right? Yeah, makes sense. Let's go up here. I don't like this, this is scary. Water, take that. Gotta go up. Two battery. That's it. Taking any significant amount of damage. Oh wait, there's stuff here. I didn't see that. Almost missed it. Cool. And how do we get further down? There was something down there, wasn't there? Here it is. Risk of dehydration. So this really does seem like an exact copy of where we were before. Hopefully there's a bit more variety throughout the game. Because this is way too similar looking to me. We gotta go through here. Wait, there's a door back there. Can we jump then? Yep, we can. There we go. Cool. There, what can we get here? Machine parts, electric elements, fuel. We need fuel, that's for sure. Data cart. More fuel. Immunity is decreasing. Vulnerability to viruses rises. Oh. Alright, you gotta be careful. Immunity to viruses is uh, going downhill. Let's drink some water. Uh, no, never mind. We used all our water for cooking. We only have dirty water right now. That's no good. We need some fresh water. Let's go back up. Back to the ship. You're gonna make some popcorn? Sweet. Wait, is it sweet though? Is it sweet popcorn? Go. Add dirty water there. Alright, how do we make the membrane thing again? Need synthetics. Oh. 
plenty of synthetics now. Um, and oh, I forgot we have this cooked thing. I completely forgot about that one. Uh, what was I crafting again? The water thing. Purifier, condenser, and the membrane. This is what we need. This is really a one time use only. We used one of them before and it Printing completed. was immediately gone. It's kind of annoying. Maybe it has multiple uses, but the one that we had was cool or something. I guess we'll see. Yeah, we got some clean water. Let's drink that. Very nice. And let's eat that thing as well. So now our food is better. Our health is good. Our water is... Yeah, it's doing alright, I guess. Could be worse. And energy is kind of terrible, but it is what it is. Rotten food. Can we cook that? Can we cook rotten food? Let's try. Seems like we can. Nikki plays. Good to see ya. Or Nikki Sim plays. Good to see ya. Welcome. I think she could see you earlier as well. Sorry, I missed your message there. Oh, there you go. Okay, so it is. Yeah. Okay, so the membrane is immediately, immediately consumed. All right. Not sure if I like that. It's kind of annoying. I guess that just means we have to make a million of these things. Printing completed. We got more water. And it's not even clean water either, it's dirty water each so. time. So now you have to clean it in here. Printing completed. It's kinda of annoying. Alright. Overcooked meal. Overcooked, but still edible. How is it overcooked? I got it out like immediately. But I mean, it was spoiled food, so I guess I can't complain. It's, it's plus 15 food, better someone than nothing. I guess I cannot complain about that. Anything we can research? Repair patches. How do we use those? I'm not, not sure. I'm not sure how to. I guess it's not necessary. This is 97. Is it necessary? I'm not sure what the health is for this one. This is 97. But nothing else seems to have a percentage. So that's a little confusing. Wait, is that the poster? Oh, it was the poster. <laughs> it was the poster, it was not the repair thing. Does not require repair. This is 97. Okay, there you go. This is the repair thing. I see. Got some more water. We got some more dirty water here. No? Requires a bottle. See, yeah, the, cl the clean water that we're using here, we don't get those bottles back. That's super annoying. That really is really annoying. Uh, Bebo Gamer, good to see you. Welcome back. Thanks for the 16 months. That is weird that those bottles are uh, consumed. Don't like that. Not a big fan. Let's add that one. Can I not do multiple? 
right. Right. Okay, well, we have some water now. So let's drink that. Drink that, drink that. We need a bed, because we are low on energy. There we go. Short railing, that is useful. Sprinting completed. We make a couple more of these. Go all the way around. Eventually. <laughs> Could only place one of them. Didn't really help much. Eventually I want to go all the way around back over there because for some reason I cannot place it on the other side. I can only place it right next to these ones yeah I can make more bottles but that's annoying like you're I, I made a bottle I put clean water into it I put it in the cooker and then the bottle is gone like I, I don't like that why is the bottle gone after me making it like it was made like 10 seconds ago you know what I mean Should stay, uh, should stay usable for longer, I would say. But hey, it is what it is. It's a video game. There's the bed. Let's put that away. There you go. That's better. And we don't have a lot of space here, but let's place the bed. Like that for now. Why that sound? <laughs> that was weird. Energy going all the way up. Not even all the way, only like 80%. Okay. Well, good enough, I suppose. Is there a setting to turn that off? Turn what off? The consumption of bottles? I have no idea. I don't I don't think so. <laughs> Each time you finish your uh, water, you must smash it on the ground and then ask for another. Yeah. That makes sense. It makes total sense, actually. Yeah. Exactly. Make the lure. Good. Printing completed. And any more synthetics. It's also quite expensive, like 25 synthetics. It seems like a lot to me. I mean, you can get synthetics for free. Is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. By just doing this. You know? get a lot of them that way but still I think it's a little expensive One likes. That's awesome. Thank you guys. Thanks for all the likes. All right, cool. Not a big fan of that. Um, it it very much reminds me of um, what's it, what's a game called? Um, of Sea of Thieves. Wait, is it Sea of Thieves? No, it's not Sea of Thieves. Never mind. <laughs> uh, Raft. Raft, yes. That game. It reminds me of Raft, where you have to throw out your hook into the ocean. And, like, grab the plastics and the driftwood and all that kind of stuff. 
Now this is a lot easier because this is just aim, click the button and it automatically follows the thing. So it's not, it's not hard, I guess. But I'm not a big fan of that mechanic. It, I hope there is another way to gather more resources more easily. Um, because I prefer not to use this thing the entire game if I don't have to. Not my thing. What was I making? Bottles, yes. So how many bottles are made? Is it one? Printing completed. Yeah, one bottle for 25 of the synthetics. That is a lot in my opinion. Oh wait, hold on. I, I think I misunderstood this entire thing. One bottle equals five uses? Is that what it means? Yes, okay. Okay, maybe I'm maybe I just misunderstood. Let's get this. Yeah, dirty water five. Yes, yeah, so that is one one bottle with five dirty water. Okay, I have that there. Okay. But nothing in the cooper. So may maybe we do get our bottle back. Because I haven't used all of it yet. So maybe if I use it now, then there will just be an empty bottle there. Okay, I'm gonna retract my statement about the bottles earlier. Because um, I feel like I'm wrong about it. Immunity is decreasing. But we'll see. Diseases might become more severe. We'll see what happens. Water is being purified. Oh, we can take four. Okay, we can take before it's done. I like that. That is good. Okay, that's the last one. There we go. So we can add more dirty water to there. Now we got more clean water. Six clean water in an empty one. There you go, sweet. Let's drink that one. Okay, so that does not stack. So one, one bottle can be in one of these slots, but you can have five uses for each of the bottles. Okay. I see, I see, I see. Put that lure in there. There's a lot to learn. Yep, you get the empties back, five years is cool. cool. Yeah, I, I saw that you were playing this game as well, Allura. You played it a bunch of times. How do you like it? Let's make this thing. So we can have a higher maximum altitude. Seems like a useful thing to have, right? Research finalized. And then we can make that in here. Yep. Basic. Wait, did I make the right thing? Did I make the engine thing instead? Not sure. Turn on. Oh! Wait, why would you want to turn it on or off? What's the point? What's the point in turning that off? Is... Are these machines using the fuel as energy? Is that what's happening? Printing completed. I'm not sure. 
Oh my lord! That is massive. That is huge. Where do I even place that? Diseases might become more severe. What the hell? Why is that so big? My god. What do I do with this? Where do I place this, man? Um. Oh lord. All right, let's let's place it here, I guess. Maximum flight altitude increased. Oh my god. Bro, that's way too big. Okay. It looks cool. Um, it just doesn't feel. It just doesn't look like it fits with the airship, though. Like the color is completely different from this. Oh well, I guess. <laughs> All right, so now we have more maximum altitude. Um, that's cool, I suppose. All right. Uh, find location of the double flashing things. Let's just go ahead and do that, I guess. Alright. We can go much higher now. So now we go that way. Should we first go to the single flashing light? I think so. I think it's closer, so. I'll be fine. Okay, we're definitely slower now as well again. I wonder if that I wonder if the altitude also is responsible for the maximum speed. Question mark. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. We are hitting stuff. Barely see anything. So there's two flashing lights there. There's two flashing lights here. I still think we should first go to this one. Even though I'm not sure which one is closer at this point. Oh no. Here I can see it. You would have put it on the side, not down below. What I mean, I did put it on the side. Put it on the side right there. done. Oh, we almost have no fuel again. Did we pick up some earlier? I think we did. Yeah, a little bit. Man, it's expensive. The upper side? I have no idea what you mean. You mean, like, turn it around? I don't think that is possible. And even if it is, I mean, this was the default state. I'm assuming the default state is the way it's supposed to be, I would assume. Um, let's see. Uh, what, what was I going to do? I was going to get um, fuel, yes. 
We need more fuel for our Avengers. Printing completed. We're using lots of it apparently. Printing completed. Uh, I don't want to get even more. No, that'll be fine for now. Got one hundo. Put that in there. With twenty six left. There we go. Cool. You can add it to the upper edge of the room, but it takes damage anywhere. But it takes anywhere one hit. Oh wait, you meant you meant like up there is what you meant. Okay, yeah, so not down there. You meant up there. Okay, I, I misunderstood that. Yeah, I, I assume it would take damage anywhere. Like Valura says. Though it is easier to walk around if you place it up. That I agree with. Because now I would have to jump over it each time, which is kind of annoying. So yeah, maybe I'll uh, move it around later. Might be better. Oh. Bro, that scared me. That sound. They're not gonna attack me, are they? I don't have a weapon. <laughs> Leave me alone. Please. Railing requires airship builder. Didn't we already have a railing? Oh, another Led Zeppelin. Sweet. Uh, do I want another one? I mean, why not, right? Why wouldn't I want to have a second one? Please don't attack me, moths. I have done nothing to you. There you go. Lots of water. Some more energy. And let's get down here. Cool. Cool. Alright, so not much to find around here. Can you get down? Like through there or something? I'm scared, I don't think so. I'm not willing to not willing to give it a shot. Maximum flight altitude reduced. Yeah, that's, that's one up here, yeah. We don't Maximum have to jump or something. Increased. It does make a lot more sense. Thank you, uh, Scat, for your suggestion. Um, yeah, it doesn't obscure my vision much. Well, actually, here it does. If you want to aim for stuff. That is annoying. Maximum flight altitude reduced. Guess we can do it here. But that obscures my vision there. Let's do it right there. 
flight altitude increased. I'll be fine for now, I guess. Oh, hold on. Ah, there you go. Now we can build the catwalk right here. Don't have to go all the way around for it. Sweet. Not enough resources now. All right, that's fine. Hydration level is At least we have a little bit of a catwalk there now. That's good. Good, good, good. I can get these resources, can I not? I sure can. Gels, it seems, but that's all right. All right, cool. Let's eat something if we can. Uh, never mind, I don't have any food. Close this and go up. Risk of stuff. That is where the two lights are. Let's go towards that one. Scan everything. Was there anything worth scanning there? What are the arrows pointing up and down? I guess it's just nothing special. I don't think it could scan anything, at least not in range. Oh, I could have scanned the moths. Vulnerability to viruses rises. Jeez. Lady, I'm inside my airship. Why do you tell me that? longer now. We're getting close. I can barely see it. See, yep. Oh, that is much bigger. Oh. <laughs> Windmills. Sort of. Maximum altitude. Right. Well, it's perfect. We can land right up here. Lower, lower, lower. Uncharted area. The preliminary Sweet. analysis started. Bluebell, thank you very much for 21 months analysis of being a member. Completed. Detected new objects requiring scan. New objects, okay, so we can scan stuff over here, cool. But thanks for being a member for 21 months, I appreciate it. So glad to see you playing this, you love it. Yeah, I've seen you play it as well. What uh, what do you like about this game the most? And you too, Lalura, what, uh, what, what did you like about this game the most? Now, what's going on? Why am I... 
Oh, hunger, probably. Ah, uh, yes, I gotta, I gotta get some food. Let's um, get back up. Go backwards so we can fish. Well, learn or whatever. There we go. Lower to lower. We need more, more food. You have a fear of heights, so it's quite challenging. Ah, I see. Yeah, I, I... I don't really have a problem with heights as much. Myself. I mean, it's, I, I think it's scary, but, like, it's not as bad as me being in an open, murky ocean, you know what I mean? It's different. I think you gotta get more lures to speed up the process while driving. Can you call it driving? Well, well, flying? Hovering? What is the correct term for this? <laughs> driving? Uh, flying? Hovering? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, and Ed, good to see you too. Sorry, I'm missing a lot of messages as per always. Uh, oh, I cannot. Inventory is full. Okay. Um, we could make a box, I think. Oh no, we gotta research it first. Small storage box. Research finalized. Let's cook this thing. And now we have the research for the storage box, and we don't have enough stuff for it. Okay. Oh don't have a lot of time. I think I gotta eat this regardless. There you go. Lower the layer. Just gotta get some more food going. Do we not have more of these condenser things? Got another bottle. Another bottle of water. Piloting? Yeah, I guess that's directed to it. But it's a bit weird saying, hey, let's pilot towards this thing, right? Nope, can't grab that anymore either. Let's eat this. Plus health and plus food, good. There you go, put that in there. So now it is an empty bottle. Let's put that one back in there. Boy. And let's put that lure in there. We got water in there. We got a lot of solid, well, a lot, three of them. Solid state batteries. Who's that poster? Barely see it. Let's do this thing as well. Second one. Let's do this one back there. Take this one. And put it over there. Boiled fat dust. Mom. 
That's a lot of a lot of food. Sixty. That's nice. Got another one. There you go. Bring that. Very nice. Getting good stuff out here. Bring some more water. Community going up again with that as well. Nice. Alright. Now we're good for a little while. Now we can park our airship up here again. Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Wait. Decreasing? I thought we just increased it. Get it. Maybe because of our energy. Let's sleep a little bit. Get a little bit more energy, I guess. At least halfway. There you go. Get that. Boil that one down. Alright, there we go. We're good. Uh, let's see, what else uh, did you guys say? The fear of heights is quite challenging, reminds you of Subnautica, so you like the atmosphere. Uh, you like the things with the modular building in this. Yeah, the, the, the building of the airship itself seems pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of this extractor thing, to get the resources. Because it reminds me too much of the raft. Of the hoop, which I, I, I really do not like raft. That being one of the reasons. So I'm not sure how I feel about this. Hopefully there's another way of getting more resources later. Um, but it seems alright. Seems like a interesting game. works. I should probably read all these things. But I'll do that some other time when I'm safe in my base. Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Yeah, thanks lady. Can I go for here? Oh, helium. Why can't I not go through here? You're supposed to be able to, you know? <laughs> Gotta go all the way around. Could have gone from up there. Copper. Okay. So I guess we can use that extractor thing to grab this somehow. How are we gonna grab this? It's inside the thing. Can we just go through it, I guess? Oh yeah, we can reach it from the outside, I guess. I guess we will be needing that at some point. What's over here? Fair components. Uh, my inventory is full. We need to make that storage thing. Let's go back up. Let's build the storage thing. There you go. 
go make another room. No, we need more metals and synthetics. Let's get it. Printing completed. Lots of synthetics in there. Oh, inventory is full. Oh. I thought it was out of reach again. Storage box, there we go. Uh, no, I don't want to do that one yet. I will first want to do another room. Let's do another room there. At first. I want to move that engine to the back of this one instead. Probably be better. Can we... We cannot pick that up because we don't have the inventory space for that. Okay. Let's place this one. Back there. Storage. Let's put these ones in there. And the repair patches, some of them. Machine parts. Oh, another one of these. Helium. All right. I don't think we need to put anything away right now. Oh, we'll do the machine parts as well, actually. That's almost full. There you go. We got a bit more space. Nice. And uh, now we can. Hydration level is this. decreasing. No. Container not empty. Oh wait, we need to take the fuel first. Maximum flight speed reduced. There you go. Uh, let's do it like, like that. Maximum flight speed increased. Can we reach that from the inside? I think so. Yes, we can. Oh, wait, we can get through this. Oh. Whoa, I did not realize we could walk through this. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess it makes sense with like the yellow thing telling you, hey, be careful. Um, but I did not realize. Okay. Good to know. Good to know I can fall to my death if I'm not careful. Uh, right. Well, that makes this a little bit easier, being able to walk over here. Can we scan it? Should we scan it? No. There's no copper here. Yeah, so I really don't like that you have to use the extractor from that one. I wish there was a hand tool that you could use as well. Kind of annoying having to use the ship's thing. I think so anyway. Is there anything else here? What the hell is that? Direct location radar. That looks weird. I mean, probably because it's wrecked. <laughs> oh, there was another airship here, okay. I see. 
No. Oh, wait. There's a bit of helium there. I was going to say, no resources at this airship that was wrecked. Should be at least something, right? Yeah, at least it's a bit of helium, I guess. There's something and nothing. There's a nothing that way, except for the copper. Nothing there. I mean, there was something down here. Let's see. Yeah. Because there was a bunch of stuff that I couldn't pick up before. There you go, the circuit boards. Fair patch. This one is a little bit disappointing. There's not much here compared to the other one. Um, right, I think that's about it. I don't think there's much more. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to jump here or if I can easily walk over it. But it scares me, so I'm not I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Uh, let's see, did I forget about anything? Something that I missed? I don't think so. So now we'll just have to fly around the area and collecting their copper and stuff, I guess. Because that's what we're supposed to be doing now. Calories level is decreasing. Put the fuel in there. Eat some of these dust things. What was this? Helium. Food ration. Got some more water. Very good, very good. Oh wait, I could scan this thing. The moth swarm. Is it important information? Individuals separated from the flock to search for food and material when they're hunger satisfied. The swarm is vigilant and scatters when there's danger. Due to their poor eyesight, it would be possible to catch them with the proper equipment. Ah, I see, okay. So if we have a certain tool, we can do something with that. Good to know. Good to know. I want to make another one of these DAC extractor things. Can I do that? Caution. A storm is coming. A transformer for that. What kind of transformer do I need? An Autobot or a Decepticon? I wonder. Transformer. Let's research that. There you go. Gonna make plastic walls. <laughs> you like that joke, Laura? Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was funny. 
Like, I, I'm funny sometimes. Whoa, Jesus. Lightning strikes the highest targets. Lower altitude or seek cover. Oh, Jesus. Are we, are we being hit? Is there something telling us to be hit? hard to see what you're doing. Yeah, such a massive airship. Already. Can I go outside? Is that safe? Kind of have to. Ah, the storms are gone. Cool. Good, good, good. Ah, you really gotta be super precise with this as well. That's annoying. Yeah, really not sure if I'm a fan of this. The extractor and all that. Copper from here? No, no. Um. No, backwards isn't going to do anything for me. I have to go a little higher, I guess. <laughs> sure if they're still I think they're still in there because I, I saw multiple earlier but I'm not sure if the one that I got earlier is connected to the other one so I got all of it at once I'm not sure how that works could be I guess probably not though This 
ones are a little easier. More back there, I think. Or no. I'm not even sure. I'm going to call it a day over here. Let's see. Research and craft the location radar. Let's do that. Let's move forward on the mission thing. Oh, we have an advanced insect lure now. Interesting. Rainwater collector. That is better than what we have so far. Motherboard. Extractor. Location radar. Let's get that. Battery level 20. Okay. Research finalized. And now we got a craft that thing. Location radar. Hydration level is decreasing. Shirt someone else. Is there the, um, the rainwater booster? Seems useful. Research finalized. Fatigue. Rest More is energy. recommended. We got another one of these. Problem. There we go. A long time to grab. Alright. Where do we put this? Just anywhere? So that's just a compass. Why is the compass pointing that way? Wait, <laughs> wait, hold on. I can turn this thing myself, but then it's not accurate. How do I know which way is north? Wait, north is that way. That is confusing me. All right, I'm gonna I'm place it here. I guess it will turn automatically. Yeah, okay, it turns automatically. S, there you go. Um, I guess it would be better to put it on the side then. Perhaps putting it right there. So you can look to the left, see the compass. That'll probably be better. It's a bit confusing looking. And I can barely even see the symbols. Like I cannot see the north one because there's a symbol in front of it. Why is it swinging? It's annoying too. Everything is swinging for some reason. Real annoying. Um, okay, so what am I supposed to do now? Reach the exclamation mark. Where is an exclamation mark? Oh wait, there's multiple. There's one there, one there, one there. Okay. 
And where am I pointing towards? Guessing we are pointing towards like up. I'm guessing. Or because it is a triangle, it's pointing down this way. Because that is confusing as hell. <laughs> I'm not sure where I'm. Is decreasing. Go on. Vulnerability to viruses rises. I mean, I guess I got a compass on my heart as well. I don't even. Why do we even have this? I'm confused. Right, this is upside down. Yeah, that thing is upside down. Pick it up. There we go. Now it's better, I guess. Alright, so now it is actually pointing towards... Yeah, there you go. That's gonna be easier. A lot easier. Cool. Can we mark things on this? Yeah, I am I am in the driver's seat right now, but there's like there's no option to interact with it it seems. To make it bigger or easier or whatever. Alright, but we gotta go to either that one or that one. So let's turn around. Oh, we hit something apparently. Careful, those. Uh, really careful. Calories level Ooh. is decreasing. There you go. Let's see. That one is closer. Let's actually go to that one. gonna hit those buildings but that's all right Basically, what this is a raft, but then in an airship. It sh definitely shares a lot of things with Subnautica as well, but I would like to say it's more like a raft. But instead of on the ocean, you're high up in the skies. Printing completed. I wonder if we can go into a building like that. Printing completed. There you go. 
get some more fuel. Slow it down. Still going into the right direction. Yes, we are. Let's go around this. Engine damaged. Engine damage again. What is being damaged? What? Alright, chill. Jeez. Is it is the engine just being damaged by the weather or something? What's going on? in the repair thing on it, I guess. Weird. 90%. Oh, took some damage. kilometer away. This is gonna take a while. Yeah, so this definitely reminds me a lot more of Raft at this point. The way you collect resources, move around the world, there. Did not see that coming. Oh. Immunity is decreasing. Vulnerability to viruses rises. Inventory is full, that's why. Okay. Inventory is full. Device damaged. Efficiency lowered. Oh boy. Tool charger. Do we even need that? I guess for these ones later down the line. Note sticker, electrical, EM extractor. Short operating range, lightweight, can be carried by hand. Oh, so that oh, so that allows us to extract things like I wanted to by hand. We need an energy crystal, though. Hydration level is decreasing, which we do not have. Oh, hello. Research finalized. Search for the circuit board is done. Does that give us any other options? No. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, there's multiple tabs. Expand balloon, balloon core. Each expansion of the balloon increases the lifting capacity. What does that mean? Lifting capacity. Sure, but I'm gonna research it. Need a weight? There's a weight limit research that I'm finalized. unaware of. Okay. 
And we need more helium for the core. Base of the balloon, each airship has at least one, but it is possible to add more parallel balloons to increase maximum lift capacity. Alright, so I'm assuming lift capacity is like maximum weight. Makes more sense to me. I'm assuming that's what it is. Got some energy. That's that sound. Critical condition. That's so weird. Let's get some food in us. Do we have any more food? I thought I put some away over here, didn't I? No, we already ate it, I think. Okay. So we're gonna have to use this lure. Oh boy, hello. We take down an entire building, that'll be cool. <laughs> Doubt it. Well, maybe late bed. Knows. Oh, there you go. We caught some. Inventory full. Course, that's great. Not really. Um, let's put that away. There you go. Wait, that's only one. There you go. Hold a sec. Take that. Cook it. Boil it. It's not really cooking. It's boiling. It. Uh, did we get that bomb slur? No, we did not. Let's get in there. At least research it. Research finalized. Let's get some more fuel. We're probably gonna need it. Printing completed. Might as well get it now. Before we actually run out of stuff. Printing completed. But it's easy to get more of this. I need a sun melon for this lure. Okay, interesting. So, this one has three durability, 20 to 30 catch time. This one has six durability, 10 to 20 catch time. Okay. Interesting. We had the rain collector, I forgot. Take that. Oh wow, we're taking a lot of damage here. Does not require repair this does. Printing completed. Oh, this one requires repair. There you go. Alright, cool. Rainwater collector. Calories level is decreasing. Alright, so we got that out. That's good. So as soon as it starts raining, we'll get some water. Immunity yeah. is decreasing. I wonder if that will turn into dirty rises. water. Probably. I mean, usually in games it will be clean water. Did I? Did we pass our objective? Oh no, we're almost there. That's where we gotta be. I didn't see it anymore on the side. Right there. All right, cool, sweet. That's perfect timing, actually. Risk of dehydration. Risk of dehydration. Yeah, that sucks. We 
got to get some of these condenser things. I don't like those. Printing I wish they had more uses. Like at least three or something. Oh, nice, the ring. Awesome. Now I wonder if this one will actually fill up because this underneath the balloon. It seems like it does. Yep. Sweet. Another one of those. Printing completed. Gonna need some more water. Are we there yet? Not yet. It sure does take a while to get there. Oh. Take a while. Let's get some clean water. Need it badly. Yeah, all right, we didn't have any lures anymore either. Wait, what was that other thing? It's like a catcher. Is that just another one of those? Yeah, okay. That's just another one of the ones that we have already. It's no longer raining. We're getting closer, but it's still quite far. Oh wait, we don't have any fuel. We're stuck. That's why it's taken a million years. We're stuck. What the hell? There you go. Now we're going towards it. Uh oh. Set, sit it on top of that, right? I'm not sure what my max altitude is. Is this where we are at now? And like this is the maximum. So we're at the, we're at the middle now. Get up there. Oh, we're at maximum altitude already. Land on the newly discovered. This is loud. Newly discovered location. Three flashing lights. How am I supposed to land on top of that? I can't. We are hit. Immunity is decreasing. Vulnerability to viruses rises. Uh, we gotta drink some water. Here we go. Okay, so... I guess we gotta make more of these things. Um, wait, where where do we build? Oh god! Where do we build these man? Turbines. That's that's what. Electric elements, metals. We don't have those. That is a little problem. Oh, 
are we supposed to get up here? Interesting. And when I say interesting, I mean that's annoying. We can probably get just from these things. Yep, we got metals. The electric elements, however, are going to be a little bit more difficult. We're going to have to go other places to get those, probably. Wait, could I craft those? I think I had a research thing for that. We do. We have to sacrifice one of them, though. Research finalized. Get some more energy. <sighs> that is so annoying, that sound. Alright, finalize that research. Now we can craft those. Yup. That eggs and copper. How many we need? Completed. Oh, that's it. Sweet. I don't know if one of them is gonna be enough. One extra. But we will see. Resources in the time. Printing completed. All right, good. That right up there. Maximum flight altitude increased. Okay. Let's see how high we can go now. Hydration level is decreasing. Let's first go a little bit to the side. Reached. Ooh, we're close though. We might be able to. Might be able to walk up there. Yeah, we can get on. Uncharted it's area. not ideal. The preliminary analysis started. Oh. <laughs> it's a bit close. Analysis completed. Detected new objects requiring scan. Oh. 
bit, bit close, but it works. Um, let me pick this up. And let's place it over there. Calories level is decreasing. There we go. That is a scary jump. That is way better. Can we walk on? No. Definitely got a jump still, but at least better. Right. Cool. Let's explore. It is a big place. we here first. Because why would I choose the easy route when I can go difficult route, right? That makes sense. That's a lot of water. Thank you. It's a whole lot of dirty water. Scanner. Big creepers. If the gust through there. Like pumpkins to me. It's something to get through here. Oh, here's a door. Where is Bob? Oh, some more water. Sweet. All right. Follow me. Follow me. Foxy. Then I have to come back with an uh, empty inventory, I guess. Need more storage boxes. Rises. Should not have done that. Should not have done that. Oh well. Can we make another storage box. Yes, we can. Well, it takes a while. A lot longer than I thought it was. Get some more resources in the meantime, I guess. If we can. Printing completed. There you go. Sweet. Uh, storage. Now, can we make that much? All 
We're probably going to have to research it first, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh, crossbow. Our first weapon. I like it. Oh, and helium fuel. Huh. Baron and synthetic. That makes sense, I guess. Let's make the knife. Or research the knife. Research finalized. I hope we can get a better backpack at some point. That'll be sweet. There we go. Now we can make a knife. If we had enough plastics and metals, that is. Polymer, blend oil. Motherboard. Need plastic scrap to be able to research it. Let's research machine parts. Should have done all that stuff earlier. Researching those basic things. Research finalized. Kind of important. Always being able to make that stuff for yourself. Uh, so how do you get that scrap? I think, oh wait, yeah, the plastic scrap we just find, right? Yeah. Don't have that in there. That away. Let's put it. Risk of dehydration. Food away. Risk of dehydration. Drink. There you go. That's some more clean water. Very nice, very nice. And let's put the empty bottle in there. Actually, you know, let's take the empty bottles with us because we can get a lot of dirty water here. Um, let's put mat packs away. There's eight. Keep that there. This over there. Alright, cool. Uh, so what do we need for the knife again? We need the plastics. See if we can find some up there. We gotta need it. Hopefully we can find some of it. Otherwise we won't be able to collect whatever is in there. Plant oil in here. Oh, okay, so that's not dirty water, it's plant oil. I see. I see, I see. Take the plant oil. There's a scanner in what? There's like a scanner icon over here. Or oh, maybe this one. That's probably it. Oh, there's more. Oh no, that that means it can be extracted, I see. I thought it was a scanner icon, but it isn't. Ooh. 
This is scary. What? What? What's that sound? What's that sound? I don't like it. I do not like that sound at all. We need a knife for that. Oh! A, <laughs> a lulling grass cricket. That's not a cricket. That ain't no cricket. That's a massive cricket. Like 100 times the size. No, not 100. 500 times the size. The normal one. It seems to be passive though, so that's good. Like, as long as we don't attack it. The neutral, I should say. Probably more of them up here. Seems like there's quite a lot to do. Gotta get ourselves a knife so we can cut through those things, through those vines. And we'll open up more stuff. Oh, jeez. Okay. But it gotta be so scary, dude. Where's that other one that's screaming at me? It makes it way scarier than it's supposed to be. Really? Lobster chili? Oh, my inventory is full. I'm getting down over here. So I'm not finding any of the plastics that, that I needed to be able to crop a knife, that's unfortunate. That's what I was trying to find again. Yeah, it looks more like a giant lobster. I guess that's why we also have a lobster chili here. Yeah, it definitely looks more like a lobster. Yeah, for sure. Immunity is decreasing. Vulnerability to viruses rises. Oh! Yeah, that was scary. I don't like falling. I don't like that. Okay, so... 
Rest is recommended. I cannot really do anything at this moment. Until we have plastic. And I don't have plastic. So how do we do... How do we get that? Right. I need food. We got potatoes, or not, well, I thought it's gold. I guess it's supposed to be some sort of potato. Let's boil that. Yeah, I don't have it unlocked yet, so I, I need to unlock it first and then I can make it. I haven't done that yet. That should have been a tutorial thing, to be honest. One of the missions. Like, hey, unlock plastic. So that you can craft it forever and ever. But I don't have it, so that's a problem. And I don't think you can get it from here. Look on the right light, red light towers, yeah. I guess I gotta go back there. Large bottles. Just be sure it's that. Immunity is decreasing. Vulnerability to viruses rises. Research finalized. Seems quite close. Another one to the cell. Sleep first. Hydration level is decreasing. Yeah, the one to the south is a little closer. Alright, let's go there. Weird that, they say that it says lock speed and not like I don't know, like lock 
direction you're going into plus speed. You know what I mean? But I guess the heading stays the same regardless. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of weird. Otherwise, you just call it cruise control or whatever, like they have in cars. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's great. Got to do some repairs. Almost there. Go down. Caution. A storm is coming. Luckily, we're going down. Hopefully we'll find some plastic. that we can finally make them ourselves whenever we need them. Oh, geez. Research finalized. Some more of these patches. Made a few of them. unlock some other things like the repair patch. Large bottle, water. There you go. That's expensive, Verity. It's a lot of synthesizer for, uh, for that thing. One of those plastic things. Power. So I noticed that the energy things do not, like you don't, you don't get the old one back. So it's not rechargeable, unfortunately. At least not these ones, maybe later options. We'll have an actual battery that you can recharge, that'll be nice. That'll be a real nice. 
calories level is decreasing. Basically, no fuel left. You got one of those. Wait, did that made oh, that made five. Oh, okay, it made multiple, I think. Cool. Uh, machine parts. I want to make. Um, darn. What was I gonna make? A oh, knife, yes, that's what I wanted to make. We need more metals first. Yeah, that's easy to get. Uh, no, wait! That I, I wanted to get the uh, fuel. That's what I was after. Forgot already. Jeez. Printing completed. That's what I was trying to make. If I don't say it out loud, there's a high, high Printing chance completed. of me forgetting. If I'm just looking at it and I think, like, oh, let's do that, but I'm not actually saying it. And the likeliness of me forgetting is uh, increased by a lot. Alright, but now we have enough fuel. So now we can go back to another thing again. Oh, let's not hit that. I said... Let's not... Life is hard. And steering an airship is even harder, apparently. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's lock that. And I'll try to get some more resources along the way. Those are moving really quickly as well. Well, we are basically moving in the same direction. You would think that the airship moves a little bit faster if we're going with the wind. Maybe it does, but just not that much. I think it does, actually. Alright, let's go up. There we go. Perfect. That's even better than before. Sweet. Alright. So we needed some more metal, so now we should be able to make that Immunity knife, right? Is yep. Vulnerability to viruses rises. Sweet. Let's sleep for the night. Completed. Or at least get a little bit more energy. Dehydration. Critical condition. Now we need some water. And we're gonna need some more food. I wanna keep one of these because I'm guessing we might be able to plant them, perhaps. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there's gonna be like farming or something that you can do in your airship. That'll be cool. That'll be cool if you can do that. Go, we got the knife. Now we can defend ourselves at least. Don't want to go at night time. 
I guess it doesn't really matter. We should probably clean out our inventory though. We're carrying a lot of stuff. Gotta get make more storage boxes organized. This is becoming a mess. Absolute mess. That over there, that one over there, I guess. Because it doesn't stack. So. There you go. Alright, good. Good, good, good. Got some food. Eat that. There's something or nothing. And now we go. Now we have a little bit more food and a little bit lighter as well, I think. We got some more storage. So I'm guessing it's not even gonna be enough storage. I'm guessing we're gonna need more. Or all of it we can gather. There you go. Green colander. How is this green, by the way? That's orange. The sand. How in what a universe is that green? Oh wait. Down here there was the yeah. Forgot where it was. Biomass. Does that mean we can make like a biomass generator or something? <sighs> Messy? Is there nothing else? Um. Not gonna lie, I'm disappointed. I thought there would actually be something in here. Uh, but now I feel like it wasn't worth my time trying to get this knife. Ooh, there's something down that way. Could have gone there before as well, before getting the knife. Direct upgrade station. That's it. Yeah, that's basically it. Okay. Alright. Well, we got an upgrade station apparently now. That might be useful. Back up here, and let's go all the way back up to those rickets that look like lobsters. Well, first up here, see if I missed anything. Yes, I think so. We cannot. Why can we not enter this yet? We need something to get through here. We 
can break this open with the extractor thing. I guess that's what you're supposed to do. Get the um, extractor thing so you can open it up. Okay, well, we got a knife. So can we fight that thing? Can we save the game first? Save and quit. Quit without saving. No, I just want to save. I just want to save the game. I don't want to quit. Alright, let's just go for it. Oh, oh, that was easy. It was a one shot. We can knife this. this. Only once, it seems okay. Ink bull. What is an ink bull? And inventory is full again, jeez. Okay, we're going back down again. Inventory really is a problem early on in the game. At least for me. I mean, I guess if you spend a little bit more time building those storage boxes, it's not that bad. bit more exploration instead of going immediately to the objective because I passed a lot of good a lot of good of those locations to collect stuff at I guess that's my own fault I suppose we have upgrade station circuit board glass polymer okay I wish we had a better storage. Filtering bottle. Automated insect catcher. What? The bottle is equipped with a filter that purifies contaminated water. That is useful. That is extremely useful. Automated insect catcher too. Insect catcher with automated mechanism that pulls in the caught object. Hmm. Nice. Biomass fuel, there you go. It's probably harder to obtain though. Medium usage time, so it's more efficient. Just like the helium fuel. I, I wonder how much better though, like percentage wise. It's 200% better or whatever. Because the fuel, the synthetic fuel kind of sucks. So if this one is only like 50% better, then it's not really worth it, especially if it's hard to obtain a resource. Of risk of starvation. Risk of starvation, that's great. Love when that happens. Um, let's cook this thing. There you go. Hopefully, it won't take too long. Let's put some more stuff away if possible. No, it's not. That food is rotten. Why does that not stack? That's annoying. That is why my inventory is a cluttered with, well, a fool all the time. Because of these things, they don't stack. So putting them in storage does not improve the spoil rate. So 
sadly. How much food is this going to give? 50 food, 30 energy. Alright, not bad. There you go. Eat that immediately. Alright. Doesn't happen at all, it doesn't help too much. What do we need for another storage? Synthetics. We have those. Make it not a bomb. It's going to take a while, but it will be worth it. More dirty water. Printing completed. Oh, we got another storage. And in here I will put that one, helium. Parts. Hydration level is decreasing. Some more of those. That one. There you go. That's better. Eat that one immediately. Need water. Working water. There you go. Cool. Let's go back up again. collect some more stuff. It's good to know that we can just knife those uh, crickets with like one hit. Five dirty water. Wow, okay, that scares me. I do not like that. I do not like that. I forgot that that was there. It's very confusing because sometimes like holes like that you can just walk over, but then other times other times you cannot. It's real confusing. Oh this just gives biomass as well. Oh. Oh biomass and then the flower after that. Okay, I see. Okay, that's super annoying. That's super annoying to like... Heavy breathing. Because that's why you gotta get all your energy before going out first. I just wait a couple of seconds after each hit. Is this stack? Oh, the flowers do not stack. Soup dot. Oh my god, that's super annoying. Okay. Should have checked that before. Didn't go one spot left. <laughs> Alright, let's go back down again, I guess. We don't even have room anymore in the chests, do we? I don't think so. I don't think we have. Nope. No, all one. That's something. Is there any water in there? Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Great. Uh, can we make another one? We need metals. Get some metals done. Those are some 
synthetics. Those are nice. There you go. Not our box. Man, I sure hope that we're gonna get a better storage unit. I have no doubt about that about it that there's more in the game. But yeah, we definitely need more better ones. Or just add to the airship, I guess. More rooms. So we have more room for the smaller ones. But a bigger one would be great. Is that one there now, I guess? Easier to stuff. Yeah, I'll put those in there. There you go. We have biomass in one of these. Yes, we do. Cool. And back up again. Actually, before we go, let's get some more energy. Too much. I want it to be too dark. Or have my uh, food and water drop too much. Hydration level is decreasing. Alright, so we don't need more of those, per se. Got everything over there. Alright, be careful not to get scared of those freaking things. Arouse them. Those do not stack either. Great. Man, that's so so annoying that none of that stacks. Need to get 20 boxes. Where is battery? What's that battery gonna do for us? Poster cross breeding. Okay. Use computer. Okay, that's what we need the power for. Right. So I'm guessing there is some sort of farming. Based on this. I'm guessing it is possible to actually actually farm. That's interesting. Hey foodie, thanks for the donation. Foodie food donated ten dollar and ninety cents. Get the lobster chili, sweet. Doesn't stack either, great. Slightly dehydrated uh, dehydrates. Boiled it can help cure diseases might become more severe. Right. Well, we got an energy thing there. That's sweet. So we can take that, put that over here. There we go. Thanks again, foodie. I appreciate it. All right. What does this say now? Flower breeding test result. Uh, okay. location. So now we gotta go to a different location. Is this what we were here for? Is that the reason that we were here? Calories level is decreasing. Don't be scared. Okay, 
that up. Mm. Oh. Oh, we can cut the glass. Nothing too special here, I guess. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting a lot more from this place. I was expecting something kind of fancy up here, but I guess it's only just gardening stuff. Which I guess is fine, but you know, not what I expected hoped for. It is what it is. Yeah, I guess that's it. That's what we came for, apparently. Get down. Now there's a bunch more stuff that we can collect, of course, with all the plants and seeds and whatnot. All the flowers. We don't really have the storage for that at the moment. Hope I had a little nice break the other week. Uh, did I go anywhere or do anything fun? Not really, nothing special. Uh, basically just stayed at home, but you know, just just chilling. Just relaxing. Didn't didn't play many games. I played a little bit of um, Anno eighteen hundred. Um, because there's a bunch of DLCs that I never played. And the, <laughs> the problem is with that game, I like it a lot. I like Anno 1800 a lot. It's a great game. Caution. And with the a DLCs as well, it's amazing. But to be able to get to the part where you can actually play around with some of the DLCs, you gotta get so far. You gotta put so many hours into the game to be able to get to a point where you can actually use it. Like, for example, the, um, what's it called, like the High Life DLC or something with skyscrapers. I wanted to test that one out, but that's like only for like, I think engineer slash investor level. I haven't even been able to get there yet. Uh, well, I got to I got to engineer, but after getting to engineer, I didn't really do anything else anymore. <laughs> so I got to engineer on one of my playthroughs. Um, there's also a, a, another DLC, uh, something with em uh, empires of the sky or whatever. That's pretty cool. That gives you. Um, Airships, actually. <laughs> I guess you airships. Um, but it also adds a lot of other stuff, like more more necessities for the citizens. So you can make, like, local mail, and you can, and you can create resources and bring it somewhere else for, like, extra necessities. It, I thought that, that one is super confusing, and I'm not sure if I like it. I like the airships and being able to transport stuff with that. But like the whole extra necessities thing. Oh man, that breaks my mind. It's it's too much. <laughs> it's so much going on. In the normal game you already have to bring a million things to one city to satisfy their needs, right? And then adding even more to it. It's, oh god, it's too much. <laughs> one of the things I really liked, um, and I'm not sure which one of the DLCs that was, but or if it's a free update, I don't even know. I'm not sure, actually. Um, but the, the, the new world, right? You start in the old world, and then you go to the new world, where you can get the cow, the rum, etc., all that stuff. That one now has a huge island 
on the top of the map, uh, like standard. It's like it's always there, just like the um, Cape Trelawney DLC. I, I'm, I'm guessing this is also a DLC, but I'm honestly not sure with what what name it is. But yeah, one of the DLCs slash free updates as like a giant island on top of the new world which makes it very well not very easy but a lot easier to get started because you can immediately take the ship that you get from the from the npc there bring it all the way to the top of the world and build your settlement there and man that's that's so much easier for sure but i was playing on expert mode as well I was not playing on easy or medium. I was playing with uh, one expert level uh, enemy competitor with two medium competitors. So I could have made it even worse for myself by adding more expert ones, I guess. But yeah, I was playing with one expert one and two medium ones, which I tell you, that's pretty difficult to keep, to keep up. I, w I was able to keep up for a while up until like the artisan level. But after Artisan, I slowed down significantly, and I was not able to keep up at all. Uh, that's when stuff starts to become really complicated. And I cannot deal with that. But yeah, I love that game, but man, is it difficult. It really is difficult. Again, I didn't really do much, but yeah, played some Anno, played some, a little bit of Railway Empire, but I quickly got bored of that for some reason, I don't know why. I was playing the scenario, and I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't liking it too much. Do you guys even hear me talk when there's a storm? The storms are so freaking loud. It doesn't add a lot of food. Yes, but it's a bit more difficult. Yeah, I can imagine. Let me, uh... Well, that, that's always the problem with games like this, right? When there's a storm or whatever. Like, all the normal audio is, is then fine throughout the game. <laughs> then when there's a storm, it's really hard. And, uh, it's really hard to do something about that. You can't really do much. That's, uh... Oh, I can place it on the ceiling. Right, I think I am done for today. I think I'm done playing for today. Um, I like this game. Most of it. Um, I like the idea of like going around in the airship and um, going from place to place, gathering stuff. And I'm sure that there's more to the story if you actually read everything. The problem... For me personally with this game is though, I like the Subnautica aspects of it, with the PDF and the you know the voices, that's all fun, that's all nostalgia, right? 
Um, but the raft aspect of it, which there are actually a lot more, I was not anticipating that. I did not realize there was going to be so much, so many raft aspects in this game. Um, in terms of going around and like hooking materials from the ocean, right? Uh, but in this game, you're <laughs> you're disintegrating flying debris, which is basically the same thing. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm not a big fan of uh, getting your resources that way or constantly doing that while you're trying to go somewhere. That's that's one of the many reasons why I did not like Raft is because you're basically aimlessly going into one direction, getting resources in the meantime. Until you're finally big enough to, to do stuff. In this game it's a little bit less. You can immediately do a lot more. Than you can do in Raft. So that makes me real happy. Which is why I probably have played it for the past 4 hours now almost. Instead of what would likely have been 2 hours. If it was slow progression. Like in, uh, like in Raft. I uh, probably would not have liked it as much as I... I did now. I'm not sure if I want to play this more though. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more of this game. I'm not. Oh Jesus! I thought I would unpause for a second, but that's loud. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I want to play more of this personally. But if you guys want to see more of it, let me know. Um, I'll definitely come back to it if there's an update or stuff like that. See if I can, um, you know show off the new stuff or not i don't know because i'm not really far into the game i suppose but we'll see i like the i like the idea of the game but it's too much like a raft in my opinion um and i'm just not a big fan of that game so <laughs> we'll see but thank you guys all for being here thanks for hanging out thanks for being uh on my first stream back from uh, the little break that we took I'm not sure what I want to do tomorrow. Um, we still have to finish the Velheim playthrough. Which is probably going to be like two live streams left. One gathering resources and then another... Well, gathering resources and upgrading. And then another one um, fighting the Queen. And that will probably be it. Because we're pretty far into the game already. Lewis, thank you very much for the eight months, by the way. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, and then, of course, we have Dinkum. Now, with Dinkum, it's a little different. Because, we, you know, in theory, you can endlessly keep going in Dinkum. As long as you got things to do. Uh, like, a, a goal to work towards. But I must admit, that was getting kind of boring as well, last time that we played. Like, eventually you're just hitting a wall at where it, it's just too much repeating the same thing over and over again. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll play Dinkum tomorrow just because it's a nice chill game. Um, and then we'll do maybe Velheim after that. And what we'll do after that, I, I have no idea. We'll see what happens. If you have suggestions for games you want me to play, especially new games, I want to be playing more new games again. Uh, that's what I started doing with the channel. I started playing you know, a lot of new games in the beginning when I started up, or games that I had on Steam already that I wanted to play. Uh, but I want to get back to playing more new games. and Because la lately we've been doing a lot of playthroughs um, with like 20 episodes or more. And I just want to get back to the one stream, two streams type of games. Um, add a bit more variety to, um, to what we're doing. Thanks for being here again. Thanks for everybody who watched that Dinkum video that reached 100,000 views. That is amazing. My uh, Dinkum 22 things, 22 things I wish I knew video reached 100,000 views last night which is freaking amazing so thanks for all the support and um i'll see you tomorrow hopefully for something else